Hi everyone, uh, a while back I made a video about how to use the YouTube video editor feature inside the Creator Studio uh, to show you how to insert an intro and an outro, but unfortunately YouTube no longer offers that feature, so uh, today I want to show you this site, Pansoid, and it's simply amazing to create intros and outros and just pretty much any graphic, but it also has a video editor that allows you to do basic edits uh, and, and some pretty amazing stuff for an online editor. This is completely free and you don't even have to log in to use it. It also has an image uh, manipulator, like you can do graphics, thumbnails and stuff like that. So we're gonna try to do one from, uh, from nothing. Uh, like a complete edit and see how that goes and we're gonna use everything but we're not gonna do uh, we're not gonna dive into clip maker too much I'm, I'm just gonna show you the basics and um, I'm gonna be using these assets here so I have three videos once one is a uh, 1080p and these are two 4k videos I have a 3d object and just a song just to so show you what you can do with the um, editing uh, program but we're gonna do a quick intro here in clip maker maybe later on I'm gonna do a more in detail uh, tutorial on how to use this feature but there are way too many in YouTube right now so um, I'm not gonna focus on too much on these ones so I'm just gonna click to launch it and we can see here the uh, interface and basically um, you can just use one of the 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 um, pre-made creations that other users have done and to see them all or to see more you just scroll on this side to where it says more creations just click on it and we can see a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna look something that uh, kinda has my colors and and I just have to replace the name so we can do a quick intro and let's see if we can find something really cool okay alright I'm gonna use this one this one here and I'm just gonna click to open and click click clip maker sorry and it's gonna load the project and I'm, I have my project here uh, if I left click I can move around in space here in the viewer section uh, and if I hit the play button, I want to put mute here, mute this, you can see the animation there. And if I actually want to see how, how it would look, I just toggle the eye here, and now it w it's going to show me, it's in a loop, once I hit play it's in a loop, it's going to show me how it will actually look in uh in on on the final render and i think that's pretty good i i just i i don't like the the spinning stuff so i'm just gonna change that so with the wheel i can move out and see all the assets that this uh particular production has so i kind of like it i'm gonna use that one it's it looks really good um i'm gonna show you very quickly what everything here does uh but once again i'm gonna i, I might be doing one in detail but uh, for this one, I'm just gonna go really fast. So the basic settings, well, it's just that the basic settings. So in this case, I don't need it to be 2K. I'm just gonna do it, do it uh, 1080p. The frame rate is okay. The length is okay. I'm just gonna make it shorter in the editing uh, uh, part of the video. Uh, this is if you wanna add some like uh, outdoor looking stuff, like uh, like if you can, you can shoot like a sunny day, a full moon. And and let me see. That and it, it it's just gonna load whatever you want there for the background. But uh, in this case, we don't need anything. So you have it with outdoor stuff, with blocks, and and if you want to add some lights, here is if here's all the objects, the objects that you see, um, the objects that you see over here, like these are all objects, and they're all here and I'm just gonna move in and what we need to change is the text here so because the in, for this particular design it has three texts for the same um, frontal layer we have we're gonna have to change all of them so I'm just gonna click on one I'm gonna change it to my name which is fast video and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this one so I don't have to type it again and I'm just gonna hit enter and it changed that one. I'm going to do the same for this one. Command V, enter, 
uh, for this last one so I changed all of them and that's pretty much it I think I like everything else I think there were some problems with the camera but we're gonna fix that uh, really quickly later on so yeah basically here in this section you can change all the objects and you can remove and add whatever you want to this you can import some 3d objects if you if you have and 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 do some amazing stuff like I actually have a 3d object that I, I downloaded from free 3d uh, here and I'm just gonna add that one so you can see how that works I'm gonna add an object I just click to add an object and here it says custom object I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna pick my base mesh sculpt and I'm gonna hit open and basically you can see it there you can see the object there and it should be all the way to the end wow this project does have a lot of stuff here shape uh, you see you see it here so here's the object I can move it in and out I can change whatever I want here in the in the settings but in this case I just wanted to show you that you can import import uh, 3d object to your um, to your timeline and uh, I'm just gonna delete it now because it doesn't make sense for our intro here um, these are effects that you can add so maybe like uh, you know like here you can see it like this one has radio blur but you can add a bunch of effects right here and here's the camera so I noticed in this one that something that I didn't like uh, I think it was just these crazy rotations so if I click on it like these are key points these are um, yeah like animation points or key points and I can delete them if I don't like a particular thing so I can just click on it and just hit here the the rotation which is in green the same here and just click it and my camera won't do those crazy rotation movements that I didn't like for this particular design and that's pretty much it like right now it should work the way I want it let's check it out let's put it in the eye to see how it will look okay let's just let it loop again and see how that works so it's not gonna do those uh, crazy rotations anymore yeah just this, like moves but no rotation okay I like it like that and we're gonna use that one as it is so I think it's ready to go and basically um, I I kinda like the music that it has I'm not I don't think I'm gonna use it any, anyways but here in this option you can change the audio file and just import an audio file and you know you can just do whatever you want to the audio file here by clicking here you can edit that part and um, but uh, I'm not gonna do anything I think it works the way I, the, I it works fine this way so I'm just gonna download here in this option here the video so um, because I'm not logged in it just lets me do download it in uh, in the that MKV and that WebM uh, format I'm gonna use this one here which I like that MKV and I'm just gonna start the video rendering process I'm gonna pause this video until for the next two minutes it doesn't take that long but uh, we'll be back uh, shortly thanks alright so we're back uh, my video it's about to finish downloading and now I can download it onto my computer so I'm just gonna hit the download your video uh, button and it's just gonna take a few seconds until it downloads uh, let's see yeah it downloaded here and it should go to my downloads so let's see it oh I have two so let me see which one it is okay this one I'm gonna try this one so I don't get confused this might be a, a test that I was doing uh, I'm gonna click on it to check it out yeah that works great ta, ta, ta. okay so we have it ready to go and I'm gonna just quickly use handbrake to convert it in a uh, an mp4 video just like something quick so I can use it in my video editor for Pansoid so this is fine fast 1080 30p that's what we use to create it I'm just gonna oh sorry I have to give it a name and we're gonna call it uh, fast video intro and I'm just gonna browse where I want to put it and here in my Pansoid folder I'm just gonna hit save and just encode that if you don't have handbrake this is a must have tool you must download right away it's amazing like I use uh, media encoder but this is a paid program but this is really really good 
for a free program. I mean, it's really amazing. It's fast, as you can see. So I'm going to delete these so I don't keep it laying around. So everything's in my Pansoid folder now. I have everything ready to go. I'm just going to cancel here and cancel here. I'm going to leave this one, and I'm going to back to the Pansoid main uh, interface. And basically, we're just going to dive into the video editor to see what we can do here. I'm gonna click on it, and this is what the uh, the um, the interface looks like. I'm gonna hit F11 on my keyboard to bring it all nice and big, all the way full screen, and we're gonna take a look at what we can do here. Okay, so um, before I talk about anything else, I'm just gonna import my files, and that's the first thing that I wanna do. I'm gonna hit import here, and I'm just gonna click on all these, control click to have all these four, I'm just gonna hit open, and that's just gonna import all my files onto my uh, uh, my my uh, 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 project. So we have all the working files here. We have the intro and we have some other files. I have two 4K videos and one uh, 1080p. Uh, that it's uh, me walking around with, with, uh, with the, uh, Max and Sasha, the infamous dogs from my previous videos. I have a Santa Monica Pier uh, shot and some people doing some uh, BMX stuff here. So we're going to use those clips. The first thing is that we're going to drag our intro here and we're just going to check it out how it looks. I hit the space bar to move it in time. So you see that there's a lot of blank space. So I'm just going to move exactly where it, where it actually starts. So with the arrows, I'm going to back go back a few, hitting, hitting the, the, the back arrow, and I'm going to select the clip, and I'm going to hit this option here to cut it. So I just cut it, and then I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to hit backspace to delete it, and now I have my intro the way I want it. And I think there's a few black at the end, so I'm just going to move it in time with the other arrow and see how that looks yeah like there maybe a few back and that works right there I want to keep it right there I don't need any black and this time I'm gonna zoom a little bit with these two options and I'm just gonna well it takes a while to zoom I, I haven't found a fast way to zoom uh, not even with the wheel, that doesn't work, so you have to do it this way. And in this case, I'm not going to use this tool. I'm just going to use the arrows by uh, pointing at the end and cut that part that way. So now my intro is ready to go. I don't really like the audio, you know, so I'm just going to click on it and use these to unlink the audio and video. And then I'm just going to delete the audio here. I don't like the audio. And now it's ready to go. My intro looks good. I'm ready to start editing one clip. And I cannot preview this clip. There's no way to preview it. So I have to drag and drop it on my, oops, it went all the way, on my timeline. And now I can scroll and see what the actual clip does. And I think I'm just going to cut it here. I think that's the best part. I'm going to use the arrows. I'm going to use the, the selection to move it and make it shorter. I'm going to use the bar, a space bar to play it. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's all we need. Just a, a quick clip of the dogs there. Very fast. And then we're just going to drag and drop the BMX clip. Let's see. And this should be in uh, slow motion. And I'm just going to scroll through the timeline just to find a, an action that I like to use. Let's see. Okay, here, here you see the, the first problem. And that it, this is a 4K clip, and we have we're in a 1080p timeline. Let me see again. This is for uh, sorry, I haven't talked about this, but this is the the basic uh, properties. So here it tells me what my timeline is. So it's uh, 1080p, uh, and this clip right here is uh, it's a, a 4K video, right? So I'm gonna reduce the the size to so I can fit everything in it. So here's the editor and I can just, it has all the properties of the clip selected so I can just change whatever I want here. But I, I'm just gonna change the scale and um, I'm just gonna make it smaller so I can fit the whole thing, the whole 4K uh, thing there. And now I'm just gonna continue scrubbing through time and see what 
okay I think this one I like maybe not the guy here I'm just gonna use the arrows to move back and forth and I'm gonna go back a little bit and just get the the clip of this guy and not too much of this okay and I'm just gonna use this to cut it I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna delete it with backspace I'm gonna hit the spacebar to play and yeah that's what I want I think that's enough and I'm just gonna make it shorter here and I'm just gonna move this one here besides the other one it's that easy I mean it's not complicated at all I'm gonna go back to my files and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, 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 move down the last clip okay so the last clip it's uh, a shot of the Santa Monica Pier and um, I'm just gonna this one is 4k again but um, in this case I'm gonna use the keyframes to animate like a quick zoom or something so let's find out something that where it doesn't move a lot I think I think I think okay I think the whole clip moves a lot okay I mean it's it's not gonna look very good but it doesn't matter oh yeah and the sound is awful so let's fix that one in the editor I'm gonna fix the sound just lower the sound so we don't hear that much that's too much sound let's see oh yeah yeah and with the music it's gonna sound great and we're gonna add some keyframes to this so we position at the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna add a scale uh, keyframe so I just hit the stopwatch here as you can see you have it for all of the options or uh, for all the uh, editing options so in this case for scale I'm gonna move in time to the end and right at the end I'm just gonna add another keyframe and this time I'm just gonna change the the zoom all the way so we zoom all the way out so it looks like a zoom as you can see once I add a keyframe it gives me like a few options here that I can change uh, with the easing of uh, of the of this keyframe so it doesn't look that harsh so I, I like this one here quadric in and out and that should work okay I mean it's a bit shaky Oh yeah, it's a lot. It's very shaky, but you know, it does what it does. So I think it looks great. We've done a basic edit of three clips, uh, and uh, I think we're ready to dive into a little bit of uh, other cool stuff that this program does. So let's take a look at about the the effects. So if I want to add an effect to a clip, I just highlight the clip and add an effect. So there's a lot of effects. I mean, this 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 thing has pretty cool stuff here and um, for this case I want to add uh, let's use like a, a layer effect so I'm just gonna add a gradient and it just puts a gradient on top of my clip here and so to add it I just go into the gradient part and I click on it and I can change the gradient so maybe something that looks more like my color so maybe like a bluish no this is too clear like this one here this blue and maybe here something like I don't know like really pinkish weird reddish like this one yeah so we have this crazy gradient and basically you can um, do whatever you want to this gradient so obviously you can change the opacity and it will reveal the clip uh, beneath but in this case I'm just gonna do a blend uh, maybe a multiply blend oh yeah that looks funky that looks cool I'm gonna use that I like it yeah that, that kinda works let's see oh yeah looks good and for this clip I selected to add an effect and this for this clip we're gonna we're gonna use something really cool let's see I mean there's tons of stuff you can just play with all this stuff but um, just to show you how awesome this is I'm gonna use a distort effect so this one the RGB shift it's pretty cool I'm gonna load that one in and as you can see it just shifts the different colors but we're just gonna animate this one so I'm just click on it and I'm gonna click the R R RGB shift and I'm we're gonna animate the amount so we're just gonna go really high here so it look it really looks very distorted from the colors here maybe from here from the very beginning let's move with the arrows to find the exact spot okay and we're gonna add a keyframe for the amount and then we're just gonna mu move a few keyframes maybe when he lands uh, okay well the clip is really short so I'm just maybe just gonna do it when he's in on the ramp there and 
we're gonna change we're gonna add another clip this time we're gonna give it a zero amount so it's basically like the effect starts really harsh and then it just goes down and that's amazing that's amazing that you can do this with a with a program online so I just added a keyframe to an animation in the in this in this clip and that was pretty fast pretty cool and for this one let's see let's select the clip to add an effect and I'm we're gonna add maybe let's see what what can we add okay no I'm not gonna add anything I think you know you can you pretty much get the idea uh, these are the export settings but um, before that if we go back to our media tab you can see that there's all their stuff around here we have an adjustment layer we have a 3d scene and we have text right you can pretty much see think what these two do but for the adjustment layer uh, that means that you can uh, drag and drop a layer on top of two clips and whatever changes you do to this layer it's gonna affect both clips alright so in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my uh, effects panel with my adjustment layer selected and I can just choose whatever I want here and um, that's gonna affect both layers but in this case um, I think I'm just gonna do like a color overlay for both <laughs> and you see it just puts like a, a, a nice uh, color overlay there but I'm, I'm gonna use uh, my colors maybe like this one here I'm gonna choose that one and then basically what I want to do is I want to animate this overlay so it works separately from the videos so um, I'm just gonna go back to the editor with this highlighted and I can um, just change pretty much anything I want alright so in this case I can you know what no no I decided that I'm, I'm I was gonna do like a nice position like this but I don't like that I'm just gonna do something different I'm gonna go back to my effects with this highlighted and I'm gonna add another effect I'm gonna add a a a, uh, a framing effect so I'm just gonna add a cropping effect so I just click on it and it's gonna add a cropping effect if I click on the crop part I can um, just change whatever I want so if I keyframe it for example at the beginning here and but we we do it like with zero um, zero stuff zero zero thing and and I just add a keyframe there and then move in time and add another keyframe there and then just move uh, the, so so it feels fully like one percent you can see that over time this thing just come kind of closes the the image and then if I move in time here and I add another keyframe and this time I do um oh wait and this time I do um uh, once again if we put it to one percent let's see how that looks okay so like this to see the keyframes and they kind of that's kind of like a quick transition that we just did there uh, with the adjustment layer but uh, you can see that the possibilities are endless there it's not the best thing but whatever um, okay so we're done with this and we're gonna move to the media and we're gonna check what this 3d scene does and this is pretty amazing because you can just drag and drop on top of your uh, of your oops sorry on, on top of uh, another another um, part of the it's a little bit complicated to get it right but once you do okay I'm gonna put it on top here besides I'm gonna make it smaller my 3d scene and I don't know what I'm gonna add here but um, basically what you do is when you go to the objects section which just appear when you when we added that scene I can add a an object just like we did for the intro and in this case we're gonna use something that um, that we already have here uh, let's see custom objects no a model so in this case a mystery box a AK-47 okay so we're gonna add an AK-47 to that scene as you can see it appear here if I click on the model I can um, rotate it so you can see it better here on its axis and there we go I think if I hold shift I can just move faster there all right so you can see the AK-47 you can use obviously scale it and the great thing about it is you can also animate this so if I click if my clip is my click my little sorry my clip is selected I can hit the position add a keyframe there 
and maybe no maybe just move with these ones you, you move to the keyframe and you, I'm just gonna make a change here for the for the position so I'm just gonna move it out of frame and I'm just gonna make it appear sorry shift and then you can move it faster and if I add a keyframe there for position it's gonna show me oh sorry it's gonna show me here my AK-47 going in. It's as simple as that. So we just added a 3 3D object with an online editor. So you can just imagine the options that you have for this. And move on to the last one, and that's for text. So we're gonna add a text layer, and maybe right here. Um, I'm just gonna drag it and drop it on top. Oh, God, it's very sensitive. I come, I'm gonna drop it here, and then I'm gonna drag it there. Or, or else I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, so we have a text layer here on top of the um, the docs here. And the same, just go to your editor and you can change whatever it says here. So here we'll, we're going to use the, we're going to do pan soid test. And this is pretty cool because you can either move it here, you can see that the values changes, or you can move it using your arrows here for like, precise stuff you can make it bigger you can make it smaller and you can rotate it uh, but I just like it like that so that's pretty much all you need to know to add a text I'm just gonna make it the same uh, the same size as the the clip and that's all you need for for pansoid I mean that's pretty much an edit it's ready to go um, I, I'm gonna hit F11 to go out and I'm just gonna add another tab and go back to Pansoid and the Clip Maker and show you, I mean, if you go back to the more creations here, I mean, if, and if you tap here, you can add an outro. And you can just change whatever outros there are here that other creators have made. Uh, like someone here using the AK-47 uh, for his outro and, and, and you know, I mean, there's tons of stuff. In this case, I'm not going to do it. I, I'm just going to show you that you can just get an outro that way. In this case, uh, I can just use the, the same as the intro and put it at the end. But, uh, I mean, it works great that way. So we're just going to move on to exporting this clip or edit. So we're just going to go here. And there's two options, Cloud Render. But for that one, you need to log in. And there's Device Render. So I'm going to use Device Render to, um, to render everything out and we'll see how that goes. So I just click on it and I'm gonna use a very low fast because I, I don't care about the quality of this. And again, for the format, I only have two options. I'm just gonna use that MKV um, and everything else is ready to go. Maybe just lower the resolution a bit. So maybe the, the, the render will go faster. And I just hit start and it's gonna do it in the background and it's telling me that it's about 10 minutes, five minutes. I don't think it's gonna be five minutes. But I'm just going to render this one out and get back to you shortly. Oh, hi, guys. I'm just going to return to my editing because um, I think I forgot to add the audio here. So we have here our clips, but I forgot to add the audio for for um, or uh, nice edit. So I'm just going to hit import. And this is uh, a clip that I downloaded from YouTube. And I'm just going to open that. Sorry, click and open and it should be here and I can just drag and drop it the bottom here and now we have an audio um, file and if we move down we can see where it actually starts so if we move in time you can click on it split it delete this part move it to the beginning and now we should have kind of works. I'm just gonna delete here the end uh, and delete this one and uh, yeah that kind of works fine for what we want and we're ready to render. I think I'm just gonna um, delete a few things here that makes it heavy. I'm just gonna delete this weird transition. I don't like it. I'm gonna leave the AK-47 uh, AK 
and for this one I'm just gonna delete the RGB effect I'm just gonna go ahead and render that one for you and once again we choose MKV yeah the settings are good and we hit start alright guys so I think something happened I think um, uh, before I thought I thought the um, the render wasn't working properly because I had too many effects but now I'm thinking that it might be because I'm using a uh, 4k clip and it's uh, 24, 24 frames per second so I'm just gonna conform that here and just redo it so the way I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna use these uh, clips again and the way I'm gonna do it is just go to handbrake and just make the make them uh, 1080p to see if that would work better um, I'm just gonna change the uh, the Santa Monica Pier one and we're just gonna do it yeah the MF video she should end in dimensions so the display size output yeah this is good so I'm just gonna encode that and I'm just gonna cut uh, up here up here and I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna encode that yeah it's just it just to stop on this frame so I think that's what's going on but this is great because we're gonna figure out uh, how to fix this problem and I don't know if, uh, if if the actual program would be able to handle 4k like it says it does and and I've seen some uh, 4k clip 4k uh, clips here in the creations part of clip maker so maybe for a 10 second clip you look the time just went up uh, trying to um, to to render that that clip and it has it hasn't moved so I don't know what happened but um, I'm just gonna do this I have a pair here and I'm gonna do the same for um, I'm gonna do the same for the for the bike clip this 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 one's a bit too long so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna figure out here with uh, VLC where to cut it so I think I'm around 32 seconds all the way to to oh no this is the other way so it's 30 yeah 34 to to 52 okay so I'm just gonna change these to seconds and I'm just gonna see here 32 to 55 and it's just gonna be 20 seconds long clip the output is good and I'm just gonna call this uh, a bike I'm gonna browse put it here and just encode this quickly and see what's going on here yeah it's just the time just continues to go up and it's not working it's not rendering so we're gonna try to fix that for you guys and see if this works better so I just changed the resolution of, uh, of my clips using handbrake and we're gonna import those clips replace them in our timeline and see if that would work if, it, if that doesn't work that means that we cannot actually use it to edit videos but I don't think that's the case because I mean it, it seems pretty pretty awesome and if you render like a, a 10 second edit it should work fine for 4k but in this case you know it's just kinda just kinda having a hard time uh, rendering that so let's see let's go back to this one Q finish so we have our clips here the pier and bike and I'm just gonna return and basically I'm just gonna import those clips bike and pier I'm gonna open those two clips and the way I want to do this is um, maybe for the pier here I'm just gonna make it smaller I'm gonna remove the gun so I don't think we need it and for the bike let's move it here to edit the to edit the, the bike clip Okay, so it's a little bit hard to position things here but I think this will work okay we have it here okay we have it there and we're just gonna so you, as you can see now it fills nicely the whole frame I'm just gonna move the arrows here to make it the time that we want here and I'm gonna delete this one I'm gonna make some space here so we no longer have the zoom
we no longer have the zoom and the bike doesn't have the effect i just want to see if this works i'm 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 actually thinking of removing this no 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 it should work fine this way now i don't know i don't know what happened before but uh this should work fine let's just expand the audio let's go back to our uh render part everything looks the same now and cross our fingers and see if this works okay so it's telling me like seven minutes we'll see if that works uh, I'm gonna get back to you if this is done when it's done and I'll show you the result okay and we're back great news guys um it did work uh, I took about two three minutes to render and it was really fast no problems and now I'm just gonna hit download to download my video like we did with the intro and it says here just wait for it and let's see if it downloads yep it did here's my final render i'm just gonna go to my downloads folder and click on it and see what it looks like i don't have my headphones let me see ah. but it should have my music oh yeah Woo, you can you can you can still hear the <laughs> the sound of the wind. So yeah, it took about two two, uh, two minutes to do a, a 720p. And basically, before I upload it to YouTube, I'll just run it through Handbrake again. So this was great because we managed to find uh, some things about the program. And you cannot use a 4K clip on a 1080p uh, edit. I'm pretty sure if you do like a 4K clip on a like a very very small one like a 10 second one that you want to do uh, so my advice would be to uh, to just do like a, a 10 second clip edit the 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 way you want it at the effects render it in 4K and then just with handbrake uh, reconform it to 1080 and then just do the edit that way I think that would work best uh, for now but this is really amazing for a uh, for a uh, for a uh, for an online editor without logging in without doing anything I have my video edited out here and that's really amazing um, I really hope you like this tutorial and I'm going to do yeah I've decided I'm gonna do okay so if I leave I just erase all my my edits but I just wanted to show you I'm definitely gonna do one on clip maker uh, just to do uh, uh, do an intro like the ones that you see that people do uh, maybe not as not as complex but then you can see what it can be done and uh, how easy it is and I'm gonna do that later on but please subscribe and uh, give it a like and share it if you find it useful uh, so other people can benefit from uh, whatever knowledge you can get from here so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you back when I'm doing another tutorial thanks a lot bye